Okay, I think it's time for a little explanation video after reading all the comments on Reddit and on YouTube. The heck? A wild kitty. A wild kitty. Protecting my truck. I'm getting in, cat. I'm getting in. Welcome, everybody. I am getting back into my truck. I have to head down to Miami real fast. Take my shoes off and get on this bed and cozy and have a little chit chat with you guys. Okay. It has been a pretty incredible journey owning the Nissan Leaf. You know what? Before we even get started with that, let me uh, talk about some of the comments in the videos first. A lot of people, especially in the Nissan Leaf group or Chatamo group and stuff like that, don't know what my channel was about before. And they're leaving comments about who is this Beth and everybody's going in and being first or liking, you know, and stuff like that. Let me get that out of the way first. So before I kind of started getting into this and I met Patrick over at Electway AA Crane that uh, is, is letting me have these adapters and test them out and stuff like that. Um, I was more into travel, especially during the, the P word or the C word, whatever you want, the pan part or the beer virus. Um, Airplane tickets were really cheap, and I was buying tickets everywhere. So one of the trips I went on was to the Philippines. But before I went to the Philippines, I made a bunch of friends. I started I, in my research project. You know, I was researching places I want to see in the world. When I found out, you know, I got back from Hawaii, and then people were saying, you should check out the Philippines. It's like the poor man's Hawaii. And, I, and you can go there cheap, and, and it has basically all the same stuff. It's just things are way more, less expensive. Are they less expensive? I go, okay, I'll check it out. So I started doing research, watching YouTube videos, checking out Reddit posts, checking out all this stuff, and decided, yeah, I'm gonna go there. And in the process, before this thing starts up, um, okay, there it goes. Um, I made a lot of friends. And in the process, I found out that uh, the country is a little bit on the poorer side, you know, on, globally and uh, people needed assistance so anytime i would come up with extra money and stuff like that i would uh i, I met this girl beth over there and uh, she had a youtube channel and we would collaborate and if i had some extra money i'd send it to her she'd go to the store and uh, buy like massive bags of rice and stuff and then separate them all into smaller bags and we'd give them out to the villages you know rice and other necessities and feeding villages and we did that for quite a while and uh then uh we started getting a community together i started i flew over and uh to meet a couple of the people and and we just it, it's it's a beautiful place and the people are really nice and so a lot of those comments are all from the people that i know in the philippines they're showing support on my channel by watching the videos and liking and thumbing up. But sometimes there's a language thing. So, you know, you know, first or, you know, watching Poe, which means watching friend and stuff. Yeah, it's just, they're just showing support. That, that's all it is. Anyway, let's get on with some of the other comments I've had. So I tested the adapter here that uh my replacement adapter which is right here at a tesla supercharger i've been getting lots of comments oh any car could charge it a supercharger it's called magic dock well here in florida we don't have magic docks i think there is one over in the tampa area i did not charge at a magic dock i charged uh, at okahumka toll plaza or the rest area that's on the turnpike here there's a, a whole bank of tesla superchargers there's no ccs no chatamo no nothing it's just tesla and uh so i went ahead i pulled in there the very first day i got this adapter here from the same company aa crane which is a ccs to nax tesla and they, they 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 said that they created some firmware that they installed on this unit and i guess it's coming installed on all the units because this is not the test unit that I have that I'm sending back. This is an actual consumer 
consumer one that you you'd be buying if you were buying one same same unit same software same firmware same everything inside of it you know yeah there's updates periodically you have to put updates in them you know but to keep them current with the chargers because sometimes the charging stations they change their computer stuff inside there or the coding or whatever so these are constantly being updated you know to keep current and uh, one of the codes is for a supercharger for a Nissan Leaf to charge at a supercharger and I I, I was doubting it I go how, how are we gonna pay for this how's the Tesla app gonna work how is everything going to function you know because you plug in you plug the uh, the Chatamo into your car you got the CCS hanging out you take the correct way you take the CCS to Tesla adapter you plug that onto that then you plug the cable that comes out of the Tesla supercharger right into that then how does it start the payment because Tesla's the superchargers don't have screens on them they're basically on the app everything's on the app and so I, I, I wasn't sure and a lot of the comments were okay um, how do you pay for it this is fake this is all fake and it's not fake I just I showed it on my video it just worked um, I don't know I don't know the magic and, and that is inside of here and I'm sure well, it's hard to disconnect I'm sure this is just a standard CCS to Tesla adapter I don't think there's any computer inside of here no battery no nothing it's just what everybody else is selling but at a much lower price supposedly and I'll get to that in a minute um, so this is just basically that type of adapter all the computer stuff is inside that you know the raspberry pi and everything is inside this chatamo adapter so everything that is done to have the supercharger talk to your car is all flipped around in here somehow so i'm not you know there are engineers and programmers and stuff that do all that stuff all we do as users is if if it doesn't work we take this little plug here with a, a, a thumb drive you plug it into the bottom of the adapter plug it in the, to the charger and when it fouls out all that data goes onto the thumb drive you send it you, you send it to them and then about two or three minutes later they got a firmware update you install it back onto here and the whole process takes like four or five minutes and then the charger works um i don't know all i did on the tesla app was I put my name, my address, what type of car I drive. I did put Nissan Leaf 2021. And then just for, you know, just in case that didn't work, I also put 2017 Chevy Bolt underneath. So, you know, whatever, you know, whatever Tesla thinks I'm charging, it's, it, my car's gonna be there. I don't know if I needed to do that. I could have just put Nissan Leaf, I, I, who knows. I'll test that out again after I get back from Miami. But I just, plug it in and then on the app it says start charge oh i did have to put credit card information to make the payment to charge and, but uh on the app it just says start charge you hit start charge lights on the dash start popping and then on the screen it says this the connection could take two minutes you know and and i go okay cool but it didn't it, it started right away so it 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 just worked and uh, i i went ahead unplugged I pulled the car to the next supercharger. I started at char or C1, I went to C2, and then I went to C3. So I, I charged three times, all each one for about three minutes each. And it just worked at every one. It was, um, it was, it was pretty cool. So there was no Hollywood gimmick, gimmick AI stuff. It was just me plugging in and charging and being blown away. That, that's all it is it, it that this is how you do it you just plug it into your car plug the ccs into it and connect the nax unit to the back there make sure you have but a, a good advice is before you go to a, if you do buy one of these the description will be below patrick has been super awesome um in fact i'll, I'll talk about that in the description and then with a link um so supportive and uh and from other people that have purchased through that link that, cause I've been sharing it on every dang video basically, cause I believe in the product. Um, it's just easy to get in contact with almost any time of day and night. And they're just right on it, you know? 
I try not to call in the daytime here so much because they're sleeping because they're in Europe. And then, so I wait until like six or seven in the evening in the United States, at least here in Florida, because then I know it's like six or seven in the morning in Europe, so I don't bug them too much. And plus I'm not charging that anyway. But you, you know, usually in the times you're charging, they're up and awake and ready if there's any malfunctions or need firmware for a specific charger, they're there ready to go. It's simple. I'm I'm not very bright at stuff like this. I, I like things that just plug and play and work. Some uh, and but this here's pretty simple. It's like sometimes my mind gets a little bit confused when I have to do something, but then I can just go on WhatsApp or something, text Patrick, and he'll explain it or he'll make a quick little video showing me. I can look at my phone. I go, oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. I didn't open this on my computer or something as I'm installing an update, and. Or and if and if you don't understand that, they'll video chat with you real fast. It's just it's so great. Anyway, yes, it works, um, and it's working again at uh, this the consumer unit here. No issues. Build build quality about the same as the test unit, just a different colors and everything else. But basically, everything else is the same. I don't know what the internals are like if, if the internals are different, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm happy. And uh, for Nissan Leaf owners out there or anybody else that has Chatamo in their cars, because it works on all Chatamos. Yeah, any any Chatamo car, whether it's uh, Mitsubishi or whatever, can charge in the United States at a supercharger. I was told. I haven't tested I just tested it with my Leaf. But I was told the same setup works on every single car in the United States that has Chatamo, not just Nissan. So I, if, if you do buy one and you have one, a Mitsubishi or whatever car, you know, leave in the comments below if you, if you bought one of these units and, and had this sent to you also. And if you've been charging at the superchargers, I don't know. I don't know anybody else that has one in the United States other than me at the moment, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. And, uh, yeah. And if you get one, I, I think you'll be happy. I don't know. I I spent a lot of money on my car. I don't want to get rid of it. Plus, I really can't afford to get rid of it. I need to be able to charge my car. And uh, this here is... Uh, I Now, you know what's great? I could charge at 1772. I could charge at Chatamo. I could charge at CCS. And now I could charge at Tesla. My fingers don't go that way. I, that That's crazy. I can charge at every single type of charger the United States has in a Nissan Leaf. It's, I'm blown away. Anyway, I hope I answered any of the questions that were in the feeds and if any Reddit people see this video, I hope this answers all your questions because that's where things got crazy. YouTube, it didn't get too crazy. Reddit, a little bit crazy. People were saying it, it's impossible. I don't know what I'm talking about. I know what, I, I know I don't know what I'm talking about. I just did it. I, I don't know how it happened. I don't know why it works, but it does and it works perfect so anyway thanks for tuning in if you do want to get this you know check out the link in the description below i'm out of here until the next time i gotta get my watch ready so i can pause the camera peace out everybody